Good morning, guys. Okay, first off, I am waking up in a really good mood because I am on my way to Nashville, Tennessee for this end. So I'm about to get ready, but I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, I actually bought a new camera, so I'm really excited and I'm about to go get ready. I just got ready to head to the airport. I'm about to go eat breakfast and then my friend Lauren is gonna pick me up. Those are the birds that my siblings got. And then we're gonna head out to the airport. So good. Got all my stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. Good morning. <laughs> Do avocado toast. Nashville airport. This airport is huge and my friends are about to pick me up so stay tuned. We just made it in the car. Say hello everyone. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Yo. Oh! <laughs> Hi. We're here. This is my crib. This is where we're staying. Thanks to Haley's sister. Hello. So everybody is getting settled right now. They're taking showers and we're just getting ready to go into the city. Resting up a little bit because they had a long drive. I flew in, but everybody is here. And we're just relaxing as you can see. Andrew is <laughs> tired again. That's crazy. <laughs> The girls getting ready in here for the city. Boys doing boy things. Watching NASCAR. So we are here in downtown Nashville. The it's like 65 degrees out. It's so warm compared to New York. I'm so happy right now. I haven't seen clear skies in forever. We are parking right now and then we're gonna head to downtown. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna hit the town. Hey, hey, hey. So we just finished walking around downtown and now we're gonna head back to the house. The boys are gonna go to the hotel because there's not enough room for all of us to stay. And we're just gonna hang out for a little and chill. So that's the first night in Nashville. Good morning. Today is day two here in Nashville. We're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna head out for the Send, which is basically a worship day, kind of like a mini passion, but it's also teaching you about some opportunities to go out and preach the word and just basically learn about different mission opportunities, etc., etc. So yeah, that's our day today. Stay tuned. We are on our way to We are all packing into the minivan. Hello ladies. We're going to have a 
couple, obviously, like always, pre-send interviews. I'm just expecting to get to like worship a good God, you know what I mean? Yes. And if he talks to me at all, like, that would be cool, but yeah. I just want to like, ways. Okay. I agree with Haley completely, but also I want to just hear God's voice and be obedient to his voice and then just be wrecked by Jesus today. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I've never really heard of this conference before, so I'm just going in with like fresh, fresh mind, fresh understanding, but I am excited. Amen, sister. We just got here. And it's just parking right now. And we're heading to the sand. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. We are currently in line for the sand, and there's so many people here already. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh, we just got a picture taken. <laughs> The most important part <laughs> on these boys, these twins, call them for some cinematic photo views. They can sing too, but they won't talk about it. Really? Yeah. We just bought the Send merch because you gotta do it. Yes. We're gonna come here once. So there are 7,000 recognized languages in the world. How many do you think? Complete Bible. Um, I'm gonna say 15. Oh. <laughs> I knew, I thought that might happen. So, I thought it was gonna be like low. Yeah, it is low. So there are 7,000 recognized languages in the world, but only 750 of them have a complete Bible. So that means 90% of all recognized languages don't have a Bible. And the thing is that 50% of languages don't have a script. Like they don't have a written script. So that means they can't read the Bible, they have to hear it. And just three people. Two mics and three years, they can do a complete Bible when the past has taken 20 to 40 years. We're just building awareness, trying to get people to like get these kits and go around the world and translate the Bible. Good work. Thank you. I was going to be a fist bump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also <laughs> so fulfilling but we also went to Waffle House so it's been a very very long day they are leaving tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I think yeah, yeah so they got a long another long day ahead of them but I'm staying for one more day so stay tuned and good night 
So I just got ready for the day and I'm just waiting for my friend to come pick me up soon. I'm gonna have a little Jesus time with the Bible and some devotions. And then I'm gonna go reunite with one of my really good friends. After reading my Bible, I took a little nap because I'm exhausted from yesterday. And now my friend Valerie is about to pick me up and we're gonna go to downtown Nashville. And then we're gonna meet my other friend who is from work and they don't know each other, but I think it'll be super fun. So stay tuned and she's here. I just got the text. Valerie! Oh my God, I love the camera, huh? Hello. Valeria really wants flower Legos. Please. So whoever's watching- Might have a boyfriend, buy me flower Legos. We're currently in a photo booth. <laughs> Bro, Luke, <these> <laughs> We're gonna take some photos and I'll show you the after results. So we just got here to Jack's Barbecue. We just ordered and here's John <laughs> from my work. So we just got done eating, we got done taking pictures, if someone wants to buy her a Corvette. <laughs> I'll be very thankful, I wouldn't ask for anything else. And now we're going to part ways soon. So I just got back to um, Haley's sister's house where I'm staying for one more night. Uh, tomorrow I have to wake up around 4.30 to head out to the airport. So I'm just going to take a shower now so that I'm ready in the morning, get some sleep, and head out to go back to New York. This was a tough one. Yeah. 4.56 a.m. Thank you.